If you're not a Muslim and you're watching this, this is a Muslim channel. But keep on watching because you surely are going to learn something that is very beneficial for your life as well. And to my Muslim brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to give you seven things that I believe will make your life much, much better as they make my life better and I'm trying to implement them every single day. So let's get started. Number one is what I believe is the ultimate key to success in this world and in the next. It has three components which are number one, knowing Allah and because of the deep knowledge of Allah, loving Allah and because of the love towards Allah, obeying Allah. So it's knowing, loving and obeying Allah. We all know these 99 names that Allah revealed to us but how much time do we spend with them? How much do we reflect and ponder upon them? Like there is a difference between Al Ghafar and Al Ghafur. The more time we spend with Allah's attributes and who Allah is, the more we love Him. And the more we love Him, the more we obey Him and we cannot help ourselves but obey Him. And the more we obey Him, we will have a better life, an easier life, and a nicer life. And that leads back to wanting to learn more about Allah and loving Allah more and it's like a circle that is never ending. Number two is perfecting the prayer. If you're one of the people that are not praying and you're telling yourself I am too messed up to pray and that's why I'm not praying, it's like saying I am sick and I cannot take the medicine because I'm too sick to take it. it doesn't make any sense. If you're bleeding, if you cut yourself and you bleed, the first thing that you do is you stop the bleeding and that's the same thing with prayer for your soul. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to start praying. Even if it's just one prayer a day, start praying. And for those of you who pray for a long time, for many years, always check yourself, am I praying 100%? Always try to perfect your prayer. And the way to do that is to understand what you're saying, all the single things that you're saying and doing, try to understand them. For example, if you're in the ruku position, you're actually in a very unstable position. And if a little boy or girl would was, was to come from behind and just tip you, you would fall down, you know? And Subhan Rabbi al Adim is what you have to say while you're in that position. And al Adim, one of the meanings of al Adim is Allah is the one who is unshakable, you know? So that understanding leads to a more beautiful prayer. The same thing is when you're in sujood. You say, Subhan Rabbi Al-A'la, and you have your face on the lowest position possible, and you're saying Allah is the highest, the most high, while you are with your face in the lowest position possible. Something to think about. And when you pray, always ask yourself, am I praying to get it out of the way because I have to do it? Or am I praying to seek Allah, seek Allah's forgiveness, get closer to Allah, have serenity, have peace, and nourish my soul? So these are two different prayers. And always try to be the one who prays in order to get closer to Allah and to find true and happy peace. Number three is starting and ending the day right. You know, a couple of days ago, I talked to one of my friends about starting the day right and how important it is and how difficult it is to actually get yourself to go to bed early and rise early. It sounds so easy, but my friend, he joked and he said it was like lifting a car. That's how difficult it is. And I agree sometimes, you know, because we have so many distractions and so many things that take us away from what we actually have to do. And yeah, but that's the thing that you always have to struggle with and have to try to perfect and it will transform your life. You cannot even understand how much. No matter if it's a weekend or if it's in the week, try to get up early and try to go to bed early. It will make your day 100% better. And when you start your day, this is what I try to do, is, you know, you wake up, you open your eyes, you step out of your bed with your right foot and you say Bismillah. But when you say Bismillah, like 100% mean it. 
With your name, O oh Allah, I'm starting the day and I will crush the day for you and whatever comes in my way, I will live it only for you and I will be the best version that I can be for you. So get your mind right. Like the right mindset is one of the most important things. And when you start praying, pray and be thankful and practice thankfulness. You know, I sincerely believe that our religion is designed to make us the most successful people. And the most successful people, like financially, they are saying the same thing. You know, if you analyze those people, all they're talking about is getting your mind right in the morning, winning the morning, and being thankful. My very first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I want to get my head right. I do this thing called priming. And so I start my day by making that. So I have this base to do it. I'm going to live from gratitude today. I'm going to live from blessing. You know, I want to be a blessing in people's life today. I'm going to get stronger today and I'm going to achieve what I'm here committed to do. And the whole thing, you know, we did that one in a little less than 10 minutes. Because if you're thankful, you cannot have a bad day because you're a thankful human being. And that's what we have to do as Muslims. You know, we fail many times to understand how beautiful this religion is because we just see it as a thing that we have to do, we have to do, we have to do. But we don't understand sometimes all the blessings that are coming through it. That was my phone. <laughs> and at the same time, when you go to bed, ask yourself, how was my day? How did I perform? What could I have done better? What, was I good to people? You know, sometimes somebody hurts you maybe intentional, maybe not, but try to be forgiving and try to sleep that way. That's one big thing that will make your life better. Number four is do one small thing every single day for Allah. So Allah loves the deeds that are continuous and we are habitual creatures. That's why we have to embark on that continuous journey to do something every single day and that's why we have to force ourselves to do one thing every single day and that's the key to becoming a better human being and Allah appreciates things that are continuous even if they are small number five is very interesting and is what I try to do every single day is loving like 100% love that you give to either people or things no matter what Allah has given you, show love for it and don't be afraid to do that. If it's things, you know, the camera that I'm using right now, I love it because it's a means to do something for me. The car that I have, no matter how small or big it is, be thankful for it and you will be more happy. You know, don't always think about the next thing that you want. Think about the things that you have, no matter how small they are. Even if it's just fresh socks, you know, you, you put them on and you're happy about them and you're thankful about them, no matter how small or how big, practice thankfulness. And with the people, no matter who it is that you're dealing with, try to be loving and don't be afraid to show your love. You know, when, when I was in Albania and we made that video with that old man, he told me that he was partly responsible for establishing the mosque in, in that small town. I stood up and kissed him on the forehead, you know, and I was not afraid to do it. And just don't be afraid to show your love and good things will come out of it. Number six is stop overthinking and start dhikr instead. Whenever you catch yourself overthinking, just move directly to dhikr because dhikr is what makes your heart calm and overthinking is bad for you. Number seven is Smile, it's sunnah. You know how many times we forget to smile and we all know that it's sunnah. If you force yourself for like 30 seconds to smile, even if you don't feel like it, you will feel better and they have proven this scientifically. So whenever you catch yourself being all frowny and stuff, start smiling, force yourself to smile, give smiles to the world and try to smile as much as possible. It will make your life better. I guarantee to you, and one more thing that will make your life better is click the subscribe button, bruh. It's good for you. <laughs> Salam alaikum.